M0FXB setting up memory banks in the FT70 and going into bank mode and memory mode. M0FXB just going to make a video on using banks on the FT70. There's uh, 24 banks and each bank holds 100 memory channels and each bank can be named. So you've got your memory channel here and it could be named um, if you want. Then to store it in one of your banks, hold down VM. Now turn, turn the, the control knob backwards. Keep going back until you get to your banks. I've, I've actually named some of my banks. I'll show you how to do that. But let's just say we're going to put that in bank 6. Then you just tap VM. Now that's in bank 6 now. Now to go into bank mode, you just press the band button once. Uh, you're in bank mode. I'll just show you to go into memory mode. Just press band again. And it says memory. And you've gone into memory mode. Anyway, we'll go to bank mode. So hit band. Don't forget you're already in memory channel. We want to go into our bank. So hit band. You're now in bank mode. Now, if you want to change between banks, when you're in bank mode, press F, then band. And then you now have the ability to scroll through your different banks. Remember that each bank has, you know, could have 100 memory channels. So let's just scroll to just one. There's the PMR one that I've got. So we've selected PMR, just select band. So now when you scroll through, you will only see what you've put into the PMR bank. Now I haven't got many in here at the moment, but let's just change to another bank. So we'll go F, band, we'll, we'll select um, DV, uh, and then we'll hit band. So now we there's only one memory channel on here, but we can only scroll through what's in that. Now, if you want to name your banks, what you can do is when you're in normal mode, hold down the F, turn to number nine in the menu, and then select F. Then hit it again, bank name, hit it again, turn to the bank you want to rename, because some of them are named, so it's rename or name. Let's go to bank number five, which doesn't have a name. Then hit the VM button. And you can now name it, just like when you're naming uh, a normal memory channel. So let's just choose um, anything. So uh, we'll just call it channel. So C. Go through. We've got that in there. When you've finished, just hit F. And to back out of that, just hold the F button again. You're back into memory mode. Actually, tell a lie, you're, you're, in, um, you're in bank mode still. If you want to get back into memory mode, you hit band. And look, that's memory mode. And that takes you in your normally normal memory mode. If you want to go back into bank mode, just hit band. And you're in the last bank mode that you selected. Just remembering, if you want to change bank mode, you now hit F, band, and then you can select the last bank mode. And you also, you now know how to, um, you know, get into bank mode and, and, and change the name of bank mode. The other interesting thing is if you turn the radio off, hold down the VM button and turn it on, you are now in memory only mode so that basically speaks for itself you can only use memory channels and um, but you can use banks as well i think you can anyway let's just check now oh, that's interesting so no you can only use memory channels of the bank that's selected so let's just see if i can change banks yeah it looks like that i can't so it looks like you have to select the bank you're going to use before you do the on off procedure to get you into memory only mode. So okay, hope this helps. Um, M0FXB73.
please subscribe.